Here's another one of those common problems for deck builders, and that of course would be nails sticking up. Uh, you hammered them down when you built the deck, and now they're sticking up. And why in the heck is uh, that happening? What's going on here? And uh, I've seen the same thing with screws, too. You have screws, you screw everything down, it looks nice. Over time, you're thinking, what the heck? Why are these things uh, now creating a trip hazard? And uh, how many times am I going to have to screw them back down? And uh, there are going to be some cases where you actually screw these screws into the decking a little further and then they get countersunk in. And uh, the reason for that usually has to do with expansion and contraction of the decking materials. Now, obviously, I'm referring to wood and not uh, some type of engineered materials that would be uh, maybe a composite or something because that might not expand and contract. Um, however, wood does. You drive the nail in and uh, it looks good one day. And remember, as the wood absorbs moisture, it will expand. As it dries out, it will shrink or contract. And this is usually where we end up with our nails popping out. And of course, I went to an extreme here. I didn't uh, just wanted to give you an idea of what, what happens. The lumber shrinks. The nail was driven in at one time. The lumber shrinks a little bit. And then voila, you're, you're stuck with a nail popping up um, and uh, you go drive it down and a year or two later it uh, sticking up again and sometimes that has to do with the winter and the summer you if you live in extreme climates this could be more of a uh, concern or a bigger problem another problem would be um, not just the decking itself shrinking but the floor joists the beams uh, other parts of the deck also and, uh, you know, if, if you could imagine the two boards, one board on either side, uh, maybe only shrinking an eighth of an inch, but you got another board here that shrinks a little more um, or doesn't shrink at all, um, it's going to create an um, uneven surface. And these uneven surfaces will actually, um, as you step on them, so that the nail is down, and this doesn't seem like it would be a problem because this board has shrank, but the, the deck is still flat. But as you're walking on it and you're stepping on it, and I, I've seen this a lot on uh, stairs also, you're walking, you step on it, the, the deck board goes down a little bit, you take your foot off, there's no more pressure on it, the deck board goes up. Well, sometimes this will work the um, nails loose also. And uh, another problem would be um, not just the shrinking of the parts of the deck but some people don't crown their crown their deck joist so uh, what I'm saying is this deck let's say that this particular joist right here is has a bow in it um, or um, when you look down if you were to sight down the edge of the top of the board um, it wouldn't be completely straight and let's just say that the crown is up on this particular board. So this board right here basically goes up like this. And I'm, I'm exaggerating here with my um, arrow here, but it would go up a little bit. But the one on the, on the other side is going down. So we have one going up, one going down, maybe this one going down, and this one going back up. This is also going to add pressure to the stairway over time, causing the nails to loosen up. Um, so there's a few things that uh, you should be concerned about when building decks. Um, now you're probably thinking that covers the nails. What about the screws? Screws aren't going to do that. Well, more or less the screws, um, what I found, and I would love to hear anybody's input on this also if you got any suggestions. The screws um, would more or less have to do with just the lumber shrinking than um, anything else um, because the screws usually will pull this stuff down. They'll keep it down, but I'm not suggesting that over time these screws can't loosen up especially in softer materials. So if you're using a hard 
um, a harder lumber like Douglas fir for your joist, you might not have this problem. But if you're using a softer material like uh, redwood or cedar, you could end up with a problem. And I'm I'm speculating on this because um, I've never built a deck with redwood joist. Um, I should say I built a few stairways and stuff like that with it, but never a deck. Most of the time if I built a deck, I would use Douglas fir and then redwood or cedar on the top um, like that. And um, rarely did I screw anything down. So the screws, it, it was all nails. So screws came later. I used a lot of uh, screws for treks, I remember, um, because I didn't want to get into the uh, problems. And I actually had problems with the treks and screws also. Um, but uh, I'm, I'll, I'll go into that in another video. So anyway, that's it for this video. If you have any nails or screws that are sticking up, your number one problem is probably going to be the lumber um, expanding and contracting, shrinking. The nails or the screws pop up. And then, of course, uneven uh, materials that are either shrinking or um, or not shrinking or crowned and about something that would be putting pressure on the joist and the decking materials. The decking being the materials that go on top of the joist. Um, you have any pressure where one's pulling, um, pulling, putting a lot of pressure where it's pulling on something. Eventually, it's probably going to give, and then you're going to have some nails or screws loosen up.